Home Education here at Leyland Christian School. We're going to look at um, welcoming our new students to Leyland Christian School. We have over 110 new students at Leyland this year. We are also going to spend some time looking at our 7-8 electives in middle school. Um, so why don't you come with me now and let's go and have some conversations and see what's going on around the school. So Veronica, hello. So you're new to Leyland Christian School this yes. year. So how are you finding Leyland? It's really good. You really like it? Good. What do you like about the school? Um, the people here are a lot nice. <laughs> That's good that they're nice. That's good. Um, yeah, I made some really good friends and well, I'm standing here with Yanka, Chloe and Katie and these guys are new to Leyland Christian School this year, so welcome girls. I like the inclusivity of it all and you can talk to any of the teachers whenever. Fantastic, that's great. Um, I like how easy I've made friends here in Glasgow. <laughs> Fantastic. I like how everyone gets along and there's not really no one not included. Fantastic, oh girls, that's wonderful. What do you like about it? Um, it's really fun and everything is really great and everyone just fits in. Amara and Ashton and Kyron. And so tell me guys, what is something that you have found that you really love about Lane Christian School? What do, what do you like about the school? Uh, I've got a leadership role, so that was pretty good. You've got a leadership role? What are you, what are you doing? Uh, where's the house captain? Where's the house captain? Is sorry? Friends. Friends. You've got some, you know what? That's so important to have good friends, isn't it? Fantastic. Do you like your new hat as well? They're pretty cool, aren't they, these hats? And then the green means Wesley. Ready? Wesley House. Go <laughs> Wesley, is that right? Go Wesley! Go Wesley! <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm here in the middle school elective class for The Buzz. We're here at the Contemporary Ensemble Music class. Yes. So students, what is this class all about? It's, um, we get in a, a group and then just find our instruments and play a song together. Do you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's lots of fun. Can you play for us for a bit? Yeah. 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 jump into our STEM classroom which is for our primary and our secondary students here at the Olverston campus. We're just deciding um, what robot, we, what um, mechanism we're going to use for our robot. For example, when you push this board, it lifts up the TV um, yes. and when you push this in, it, um, it releases one of those. So I'm standing here with Mr. Jacob McNabb, who's one of our math science and STEM teachers here in the school and leads our robotics program. So Jacob, tell us, 
Um, what is STEM education and what is robotics all about? Yeah, so STEM education, particularly our first Lego League option subject here in the middle years, um, is all about developing engineering skills. So that's their science, their technology, engineering and maths, as they design and create robots without instructions. Many kids don't play with Lego without instructions, and so it enhances that creativity and gets them thinking a bit deeper and, you know, solving real world problems. One of the things we're doing, which we're being intentional about at Leyland Christian School, is the importance of emphasising play in education. Play is a crucial part of children's development, and in particular, on the development of early engineering skills. You know, with our new vision, we are a hope-filled Christian community pioneering personalised real-world education. This is why we do what we do. This is why we spend and invest money in loose parts in our junior school. And we're doing more hands-on learning in our school in junior and in secondary school. We want our students to have these skills developed, these creative skills, these critical thinking skills, these problem skills, these communication skills, so we can pioneer personalised real-world education. We really desire to connect learning to life. All right, so I'm standing here with Daniel and Amos. What's going on in a couple of months for you? Um, well, me and Daniel are both part of a competition where we code and um, build robots, and we won nationals, so now we're going to international in America later this year. Fantastic. So in May, we have about nine students heading off to the United States to compete in our World's Champions Lego League competition.